Lightweight boxer Mason Menard delivered the most exceptional 2016 top one-punch KO. Louisiana's Mason Menard froze his Dominican opponent UD Bernardo with a quick, powerful right hand that sent Bernardo to the canvas. Steven Smith stunned Gary Buckland with the crunching power of one punch and produced the finest knockout of 2013. It was such a mind-blowing quick right uppercut in the fifth that left the Welsh champion out cold. You could go a long way before you saw one better than that. We've all watched great fights over the years. The vaunted power puncher Jaime Garza got a taste of his own medicine on November 3, 1984 in Kingston, New York. Towards the end of the first round, Juan Meza landed a crushing left hook that put Garza down and he couldn't get successfully up. On April 12, 1961, Sonny Liston produced an unforgettable one-punch KO against Albert Westfall. It was such a brilliant punch that turned Albert Westfall into a ragdoll in the first round. Westfall has never been knocked off his feet until now. That's the first time Westfall has ever been on the floor. Count is six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Back in 1991, fast-handed Quarry Clan member Bobby Quarry came in at 223 pounds against former middleweight David Kilgore. In the third round, Bobby crashed Kilgore with a hook while bending against the ropes that seemed like it would tear David's head off his shoulders. David fell face down onto the mat unconscious. It was an absolutely striking one-punch KO. It's over. It's over. Let's hope the kid's not hurt. That was a devastating blow. Gilgore has been turned over by Dr. Robert Carnes. And the corner of Bobby Quarry is absolutely... In July 2015, Shane Mosley had to prove he was better than his last fight with Ricardo Mayorga, and he did. In the sixth round, Mosley secured a blow that knocked Mayorga to his knees, stopping the fight at 2 minutes 59 seconds. Liczony jest w tej chwili Mayorga. Sędzia nie chce słuchać o tym, że było to poniżej pasa. Tak jest, koniec walki przegrywa w ten sposób Ricardo Mayorga walkę z Shane Mosleyem. Andrew Tabidi is a brilliant puncher and Thomas Hanshaw knows it well. In June 2015, Tabidi knocked out Hanshaw in the second round on Lala Street with a perfectly timed one big right and Hanshaw ended up being laid on the canvas unconscious. On December 10, 2016, Jermall Charlo beat Julian Williams with a stunning one-punch KO in the fifth round. He landed a massive heavy left hook that spun Williams halfway around and threw him down. We talked about 
On March 28, 2015, Sergei Kamitsky crushed previously undefeated Adam Etches with a one-punch knockout. Etches was performing very well in the first few rounds, but in the fourth round, a single counter right hand dropped Etches hard on his back and he was extremely hurt. In Moscow, Russia in December 2016, Julius Indago surprised the world when he flattened Edward Tryanovsky in 40 seconds of the first round with an eruptive one-punch knockout. That powerful single shot blew him out cold, and Indango won the junior welterweight world title. On December 8, 2015, Yenifel Vicente defeated previously unbeaten Juan Dominguez with a picture-perfect one-punch knockout. That wonderful right hand put Dominguez flat on his back in the center of the ring as referee Earl Brown ended the fight at 20 seconds into the third round. On May 25, 2019, Devin Haney delivered an outstanding seventh-round one-punch knockout of Antonio Moran. An overhand right hand to the chin left previously unbeaten Moran flat on his back. Him back towards the ropes, and like he was throwing a javelin, just found the ice. In 2017, Hugo Centeno delivered KO of the year by winning over Emmanuel Alim. It was a devastating left hook to the chin that sent him lifeless to the canvas. In 2019, Unier Dorticos knocked out Andrew Tabidi with his devastating one-punch KO in the 10th round. A flawlessly landed right-hand punch put Tabidi down and out, with the fight halted on the spot at 2 minutes 33 seconds of the 10th round. He has struck again. The KO doctor has struck again. Devastating and in tears. And through he goes. And he's back in the series. That's all for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to tell us about your favorite One Punch Knockout in the comments section below. See you in the next video with some interesting content. Until then, stay tuned.